Okay guys, so I just sharpened my real type mower. This is a great estate real type mower. But any real type mower is gonna be like this and I'll show you how to do it. Because I just just did it. So what I did first was what you gotta do is you gotta tighten up where this cutting bar here meets these blades. And in order to do that, you have to take a screwdriver here. This is facing forward as you push the mower, by the way. So the front nut gets turned ever so slightly to the counterclockwise, and the back nut gets turned ever so slightly to clockwise in order to tighten. Same over here. And we're talking a very slight turn. I mean, we're talking like not even a sixteenth of a turn. Now the problem is, I haven't done this in a long time. These bolts are very, screws are very tight. So what I did was, I hit it with some PB blaster, which is an amazing thing. And then I walked away for 10 minutes. And when I came back, I was able to turn those nuts. So there's a little uh, tip for you. So the other thing you're gonna need is one of these sharpening kits. And all that's in there are some instructions, some sharpening compound. A brush which is in my sink right now because I already did it and uh, yeah and the crank handle so what you want to do here once you get that tightened up is you want to turn your mower over to its right wheel like so take your screwdriver take this little, little hubcap see And you've got this little C ring here. And just kind of like put the screwdriver down there and push that guy off. It comes off like that. So I might need to take my glove off in order to get past. Okay, so now you take the wheel off. Very simple. And here's the thing. Here's the trick. Okay. So, in the instructions it says, be very careful because underneath this pinion nut is a um, pawl, P-A-W-L. And all a pawl is is a very short piece of metal. So when you take this off, we're talking about this little piece of metal right there, okay? And that turns this here. Also, what happens is, this crank handle fits over top of that pawl, like so. Okay, so once you get to this point, you want to take your paste. This is the sharpening paste. And all this is is a little paste with some corrosive bits in it, like a little fine grit. Okay? You take that, and you take your paintbrush, and you paint it along each and every one of these cutting nuts. Whole length. You don't have to worry about it being too evenly displaced because as you crank this crank, it's going to sharpen. It's going to distribute the paste as it sharpens. So, like I said, you want to have this these tight enough that like it's really hard for you to turn the crank. I mean, you have to turn it, but like it, there should be some abrasion. What you're going to do is you're going to turn it in the opposite direction in which it normally flows, which is counterclockwise. Take the crank and spin this counterclockwise for like 10 minutes. Yes, 10 minutes. But what happens when you're done is you get this nice cutting edge here. So what you want to do is you want to take a cloth and you want to take off that sharpening compound. So you don't want to leave it on there. Okay. And then what you can do is you can take WD-40 like this and spray it on the cutting edge. in order to kind of seal up that fresh metal. And that'll keep it nice and sharp for a while. Then, take off your crank, take your pinion nut, put it back on, like so. You can see it's on right because it'll spin. Take your wheel, wheel right back on top. 
といいですね。Take that little E shaped ring. You can use your screwdriver to pop that thing back on there. And then take your hubcap and put that back on there. Now, when you're done, you're probably going to have to readjust these screws again because they're going to be really tight up against this this, uh, this blade bar here, this blade and the blade. They're going to be uh, hitting, and you don't want them to hit too much, so you're going to have to adjust the opposite way. So the front-facing screw will go right just ever so slightly. The back-facing screw, screw will go left, and that will separate the bar from the blades ever so slightly. You want to do that on both sides until you get to the point where you're moving the mower forward, but you're not getting a free spin on the, root, on the wheel, right? See? It is making contact. And then you can just take it for a spin. And you can see that the job is done. And it's actually cutting the grass and the clover and whatever you want to say is in these things. Anyway, it's easier than it looks. There's big warnings on the all the instructions that I saw about that pawl, not losing that pawl once you take that pinion gear off. So be careful of that. And uh, that's pretty much all there is to it. So I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to the channel. And please like this video if it helped you. Have a great day.